this tutorial we're going to generate a U3D file from our 3D bike that will allow us to embed it in an Acrobat document. To do so we need two windows. I've gone to Window, I've chosen 3D, and I've also chosen the properties. And I've put them side by side. First thing I want to do in the 3D window is I'm going to click on Group. Once I've clicked on Group, I'm going to go to the Properties. And in the Properties, I'm going to click on the little cube with the lines emanating from it. And I'll click on Reset Coordinates and then Move to Ground. Now I'm going to go to 3D, Export 3D Layer, I'll change it from Collada DAE to U3D, and I'll click OK. And I'll go ahead and save that. Now we're going to open up Acrobat. In Acrobat, I'm going to click on Tools in the upper left-hand corner. And I'm going to generate a new PDF by clicking on the Create PDF button. It will be blank, and then I'll click on Create. And I'll hit Command-0 to zoom back so I can see the full document. Once again, I'm going to click on Tools. This time, we're going to click on Add Rich Media. It appears to be a green piece of film. When I've done that, I have a series of tools now directly above the document I just generated. I'll want to click on Add 3D. With my left mouse, I'll click and drag from the upper left down towards the lower right. And when I let go, I get a dialog window that prompts me to import that U3D that I just generated. I'll click on Choose. I'll choose the U3D and open it. Now if I click on the file itself, I get a yellow bar across the top of the document. If I click on the word Options and choose Trust This Document, I can now go back into my viewport and I can manipulate this with my left mouse and with the right mouse I can zoom in and out on it. There's actually a toolbar at the top that would be used by the end user if you were sending this to a client that needed to OK the job. Alright, so now all we need to do is save this and then it would be emailed. So I'll go to File, Save As. At this point you want to put your name on this so you can email me your sketches of your bike design.